Hello and welcome to a new edition of Credit Matters TV. My name is Mirko San. I am joined today by Francesca Sacchi, credit analyst for the Polish banking sector. Standard & Poor's has just published a report on the outlook for the Polish banking sector for 2014, and today we'll be discussing the main conclusion of this report. Hello, Francesca. Could you tell us what are the main expectations for the Polish banking sector in 2014? We believe that Polish banks will be able to withstand the difficult economic and operating condition in Poland and remain profitable, thanks to their sound financial profile and balanced business model. In our view, the low interest rate environment and the economic slowdown in Poland will inevitably weight on banks' profitability and asset quality, but we believe that this pressure should ease starting from 2014 onward. What are your view? the economic prospects for Poland and how likely that to affect the Polish banks in sector. In our view, Poland presents good economic prospects for banks, economic slowdown but uh, is still positive. We forecast GDP growth about 1% in 2013 and 2% 2 in 2014. As such, uh, we expect uh, Polish bank asset quality to gradually improve and cost of credit risk to average 80 basis point in 2013-2014. That said, our forecast uh, could diverge in case uh, Poland's economic uh, recovery uh, would take more time than we anticipate. Why, in your opinion, Polish banks have sound fundamentals? In our view, Polish banks uh, have reduced over the past two years uh, their risk appetite, uh, as demonstrated by lower new lending in foreign currency, in addition to that, uh, we believe that uh, Polish banks uh, are well capitalized and uh, we expect them uh, to maintain a high level of capitalization thanks to steady earning retention and moderate asset growth. We also believe that Polish banks uh, will remain highly profitable in 2014. This is despite uh, net interest margin have reduced uh, because central bank uh, have cut several time reference rate uh, in 2013. But we believe that Polish banks uh, will try to optimize their cost base to counterbalance reduce revenues. Uh, what are, in your opinion, uh, the main risks that Polish banks are more exposed to? First, we believe that Polish banks uh, have a high foreign currency risk uh, in their housing loans. We believe that the sharp devaluation of Zloty could increase uh, household uh, debt repayment uh, and increase non-performing assets uh, and cost of credit risk. Secondly, we acknowledge that uh, Western European banks uh, have reduced their funding support to Polish banks. That said, Polish banks uh, have offset uh, reduction in funding from parent uh, with the customer deposits uh, and wholesale funding. And in addition, in our base case scenario, we, con we expect uh, foreign banks to continue to support Polish subsidiary because they are a good investment uh, and Poland presents uh, good uh, economic prospects. There was some M&A activity in uh, Poland in the last two years. Do we expect this trend to continue in 2014? Yes, we expect this trend to continue and we expect especially largest bank to continue push consolidation in order to benefit from economy of scales. Thanks, Francesca. This concludes this edition of Credit Matters TV. Thank you and goodbye.